I'm a female and have an Instagram account like many other people. I post pictures on my page here and there, and I always enjoy seeing how many likes and comments that my pictures get. Most of the comments and likes are from my good friends, but of course, not all of them are. Like many other people, I've experienced several creeps online. Sometimes random men will like my pictures, comment on them, or even send me direct messages. They can get kind of creepy, and sometimes I even delete them. For the most part though, I don't really care. It happens here and there and doesn't bother me. I remember though, one time, about a year ago, I posted a picture on Instagram and some guy liked it and commented on it. I read the comment, but didn't bother to click on his profile or anything. I did not know him, but he commented something like, very nice, with a fire emoji. But not long after this, he sent me a direct message as well. He simply said hi to me, but I had no interest in responding. I did click on his page though to see who he was. He looked much older than me, and only had a few pictures. I had no idea who he was, and we didn't have any mutual followers, so I ignored him. I've gotten many direct messages from people who I don't know, and most of the time, I don't respond to them. They usually get the idea and leave me alone after I don't reply. I figured this would be no different but the man sent me another direct message the next day. This one I also ignored. I didn't even open it. Over the next few days, he sent several more messages to me. I didn't bother to read any of them, and I figured eventually the man would give up, but he didn't. Over the next week or so, he sent me messages basically every single day. I would get Instagram notifications several times a day, and at least one of them would be from the man sending me another message. Eventually, I got tired of it and decided to finally block the guy. But before I did, I wanted to read through the messages that he sent me. Right away, I saw that he had sent a photo, and it was my house. I realized that this was no ordinary creep. This man must live in the area, and he somehow knew where I lived. I looked at the other messages that he sent me. He said hi to me over and over again, and then blatantly told me that he knew where I lived. That was followed by a picture of my house, and then him saying hi to me again. I wasn't quite sure what to do. I reported his account to Instagram, and then blocked him. However, I wasn't really confident that anything would be done. I didn't think this was worth going to the police either, because I didn't think that the man had broken any laws. Still, I was now very worried. What was this man capable of? I found myself looking out my front window almost constantly for the rest of the day. I lived by myself in a two-story home near a major US city. For the rest of that day, I did not have to go anywhere, and I did my best to stop worrying. I called several of my friends and spoke with them about it. Unfortunately, none of them could come over and keep me company that night because they were either working or had prior plans. I started to feel better when nothing strange happened for a few hours. But then, nighttime came. At around 10 p.m., I was in my living room watching a movie on my TV. By now, my windows were covered with the shades, and I wasn't thinking about the guy as much. My phone hadn't received any strange Instagram notifications either. Part of me had been worried that the man would make another Instagram account and message me again, but that didn't happen. At one point during the movie, I randomly remembered and had the thought to check out the window again. It had been several hours since I had last checked. I turned behind me on the couch and carefully lifted the blinds back. That's when I saw a car parked right out front on the street that I did not recognize. Could that be him? With it being dark out and stuff, obviously I couldn't tell who was driving, but I could tell that there was a person in the driver's seat. I quickly covered the window back up and wondered if the person had seen me. I sat there on the couch for a few moments, thinking of what I should do. Then, I heard a car door open and shut. The person was getting out. I carefully moved the window shades again, just barely, just enough to see out. I saw a man walking towards the house through my front yard. This was definitely him. He walked up closer to the house, and I heard him moving just outside of my window. I couldn't believe that this was happening. I really hoped that he would not try to break in. I heard him walking further down to behind the house. This time, I was calling the police for sure. I took out my phone and dialed. I stayed where I was on the couch and spoke with the police as I waited for them to arrive. During this time, I didn't hear or see anything indicating where the man was. Several minutes later though, I heard a car door open and shut again outside. I was hoping that it was the police arriving and I looked outside, but instead, I saw it was the man driving away. I was so glad that he was gone, but I also knew that the police would not be able to catch him right away now. They arrived about five minutes later. I told them about the man leaving, and gave the best description of him and the car that I could, but I didn't get a very good look at either. I still didn't feel that confident about him being located. I gave the police the whole story, but I had blocked the account, and when I looked at accounts that I had blocked, it must have been deleted because it was gone. After the police left, I was still very worried. I decided that I would stay at one of my friend's houses for the next few days. 
This was a big help to me, because I knew that the man still knew where I lived, and he might return. The very next night, I got a direct message request from a random Instagram account. The username was user and then a bunch of random numbers, and it had no profile picture. They sent me just a photograph, and it was of my bedroom window. It was taken from my yard. That must have been what he was doing. I showed the picture to my friend, and we went to the police with it, but I don't know that there was much they could do. The account had no pictures or any information on it. They did say that they would investigate, though. Several days went by without anything happening. I decided that I would return to my house. I drove back there in the morning, but when I got there, I noticed that it had been broken into. The window to the back door had been smashed. I called the police immediately and ran back outside to my car in fear that the man was still inside my house. They arrived very quickly and entered my house. They were inside for a while, but soon they came out with the man. He had been hiding inside of my house. I guess he had broken in the previous night and was waiting for me to return. I'm so glad that he was caught and I will never forget that experience. I'm a typical guy and I have the Instagram app. I go on it basically every day to check out what my friends are doing and follow my favorite sports teams and things like that. One thing that I do a lot is go on the explore page. This is just a bunch of random posts from accounts you don't follow but that might interest you. It's interesting to look at them sometimes and every new time you log into Instagram though, it's completely different. Now, I don't remember exactly when this started but I know that I saw the same picture on the explore page twice. This isn't a big deal but then I saw it a third time. I thought this was pretty strange, but I still didn't click on it. A couple of times later though, I saw it yet again. I truly don't know how many times I saw the picture, but it just kept showing up. Eventually, I caved and I clicked on it, wondering why I kept seeing it. This photo was a picture of a car. It was seemingly random. The car was not particularly new or old, it just looked average. It was a gray four-door sedan. The picture did not have the number of likes listed and didn't have any comments either. I clicked on the page and it was a random word with numbers and the profile picture was one of the cars. The page only had like five followers. On the page were four photos and they were all of different cars. It was like somebody had just walked down the street and took pictures of random parked cars, but none of the cars were really that unique. Two were on the side of the street parked and one was in the driveway and another was in a parking lot. I noticed that one of the cars in the photos was the same make and model that I had. Then I examined the photo a little bit closer. I soon realized that that was my car. I could tell that it was parked in my driveway. This gave me the chills when I saw it. Who ran this account? I shared the picture with a couple of my friends. None of the pictures had any captions or comments on them. My friends agreed that it was really weird, but didn't know who would do that or why. I was really curious, and I thought about commenting or sending a message to the page, but I decided not to. The very next day, I went on Instagram again. This time, I saw the same picture of my car on the explore page. I clicked on it wondering if it was new, but it was in fact the same one. Then I clicked on the profile again because I saw that they had posted a story. The story was a poll. The poll said, which one? Then there were the numbers one, two, three, and four. I did not vote because I didn't understand it at all at the time. I thought this was just really weird and decided to leave it alone. I got off of Instagram and for the rest of the day, I didn't go anywhere. My car sat there in the driveway where it always did. I went to bed that night and got up the next morning to go to work. When I headed out for my car, it was gone. I couldn't believe it. I remembered the posts and everything. I called the police and then my boss. Luckily, my boss didn't mind and she said I could come in a little bit late after I took care of the police report and everything. They took down all of the information that I could give them, including about the strange Instagram page. Unfortunately, when I looked, it had been deleted. The police assured me that they would do what they could to find my vehicle. I took a lift to work and back, and was able to get a rental car later that day through insurance. For the next few days, I was thinking about it all the time, until finally, I got a call that the police had located my vehicle. It was found abandoned, parked on the side of the road, about 20 miles away. Luckily, it had no damage. I was able to get it back, but I don't think the police ever found out who did it. That Instagram page was really bizarre, though. Was the poll a way of deciding which car the person was going to steal? And why would they post these things on Instagram anyways? Either way, I hope nothing like this happens again. My name is Emily, and this happened to me in the spring of 2022. 
I was living by myself at the time in an apartment, and I worked in the city. I have an Instagram page that has a few thousand followers. I'm not famous by any means, and I'm certainly not an Instagram model, but I do post there pretty frequently. One night, I got a text message from one of my friends. It was a link to an Instagram page, and my friend said, this isn't you, is it? I clicked on the profile, and it was an Instagram account claiming to be me, except it wasn't using my name, but a different name, and they had posted quite a few pictures that were all mine. I think the account had about 100 posts, and this had been going on for several months. Most of the pictures were pictures that I had already posted on Instagram. They had a decent amount of followers, too. I think the account had about 500. I couldn't believe it. Whoever was running this account was just screenshotting my pictures and posting them to their account, and they were getting over 100 likes, and nobody seemed to realize that the entire page was a fraud. I looked at some of the comments, and they were just saying things like, Wow, you're beautiful. As I scrolled through and looked at more pictures though, I noticed something strange. Some of the pictures of me that they posted were not from my Instagram page. They were pictures that I had of myself, but had never posted. These photos were on my phone, and I don't know how the person had them. The pictures weren't bad or anything, but I just had no clue how they got a hold of them. I sent a direct message to the page, asking who they were and why they were stealing my identity. Then I reported the page. Not long after I had sent the message to the page though, they blocked me. I told a few of my friends about it, and they said that they would report the page as well. Within a couple of days, the page ended up getting shut down. I was glad that it was now gone, but I still wondered who had done it. Well, a few days after the page was taken down, I left my apartment one morning. There was a note on my front door. It was folded on a piece of paper and taped to my front door. And when I looked at it, I realized that it was from whoever had been running the Instagram page. The note talked about how this person could get any information from me that they wanted. They also rambled about how I thought I must be so cool because I was popular and some other stuff. When I got this, I went straight to the police. Whoever this was knew where I lived and seemed to be able to hack into some of my accounts. After telling the police all the information that I could, I created new accounts for almost everything that I had and changed all of my passwords. Luckily for me, I moved out of that apartment just a few weeks later because my lease was up. Since that experience, nothing else strange has happened, but I still don't know who was doing that. My theory is that it could have possibly been an old high school classmate who didn't like me or something, or it could have been somebody totally random. I really don't know. This is a crazy experience that I had several years ago now. I should mention that I'm a female and I was at a park one day. This was a city park that I was walking through on the way back from work. It's a pretty large area within a large city, so there are usually a lot of people there. As I walked though, at some point, a guy started to follow me throughout the park. I noticed him when I stopped for a moment to look at something and saw him just kind of standing around. Then, as I was walking away, he started walking behind me. Soon, I left the park and went onto a city sidewalk. When I was waiting to cross the street and saw him standing there around me, each time that I looked near the guy, it appeared as though he was looking at me as well. To this point, though, I didn't know for a fact that he was following me, but I just suspected it. I had to walk about 10 more minutes to get back to my apartment. I checked behind me every so often, and each time that I did, the man was still there following me. This was the first time that something like this had ever happened. When at last I reached my building, he was maybe 20 feet behind me. I quickly went inside and then used my key to enter the building. Then I closed the door behind me and the guy did not enter. I'm not sure if he tried to or if he just kept walking past when I went in. I remembered what he looked like, but I hoped that I would not see him again. Several hours later that night, I got a notification on my phone of a new Instagram follower. When I opened the app, I saw who the follower was. When I noticed his picture, it was the same guy who had been following me around. I had no idea how he knew my name or found my profile. After seeing this, I blocked him. I was really creeped out by how he found me. The very next night, when I was home in my apartment, I got another Instagram notification. The same guy had followed my second profile. I had a second Instagram account where I posted more random things and it was only followed by my closest friends. The account was private, 
but he was requesting to follow me. And this account was so private that I didn't even use my name and I didn't even follow myself with it. I was more freaked out than anything when I saw that he had found it. I blocked him on that profile as well. Only about 30 minutes after this, there was a knock at my door. I walked over and looked through the peephole. The same guy was there. Obviously, he knew where I lived. I didn't know how he knew which unit was mine, though. I wasn't going to open the door. He knocked again after about a minute or so. I kept watching him, but he didn't leave. He just kept standing there. I called the police and kept an eye out. The man was just standing there as if he was expecting me to open the door for him. Occasionally, he paced around a little, but he kept returning to right in front of my door. The police got there within about 10 minutes. When they arrived, the man was still there standing outside of my door. I remember that they talked to him, and I heard him claim that he must be at the wrong address. He claimed that he had no clue why anybody would call the cops, and he was trying to see his friend Jason. I think the police knew that he was lying. They basically just told him to leave me alone though, and not to come back to the apartment building. I talked with officers as well and told them what happened. They said that if he came back to call them again, and luckily he didn't. I never saw him again after that night. I still can't believe how much of a creep that guy was. This happened to me when I was in college. It was during my second year at my university. I lived in a small house which I shared with my roommate Thomas. The university I went to is rather large and I think has about 20,000 total students. This took place sometime during the first semester. I remember that one day I went on Instagram and saw that I had a new follower. I clicked on the profile and it was a girl named Rhonda. She had my school initials in her profile as well as what I assumed would be her graduating year. She was also followed by two people that I knew from college. None of my really close friends, but some guys that I knew who they were and followed them. I realized that Rhonda must have went to my school and I followed her back. On her profile, she didn't have too many pictures, a few selfies and some pictures of her dog. That was about it. After following her back, I went on with things and didn't think much of it. A few days went by. Then, one day, I noticed that Rhonda liked all of my pictures on Instagram. Now, I had about 40 posts or so, dating all the way back to my early years of high school. She liked every single photo, and I found that nice, but also a little bit random and odd. I thought that maybe she liked me or something. She didn't comment on anything or send me any messages, though. Now, several more days went by after this. Then one night, Thomas was studying at a classroom and I was at home by myself. There was then a knock on the door. It was probably about 9 o'clock at night and I wasn't expecting anybody and had no clue as to who it was. I had been in my room so I didn't hear the knock very well. I got up and went out into the hallway and then I heard another knock. But I realized then that the knocking was coming from the back door of the house, not even the front door. Now this was really strange. I walked over to the back door and looked out the window. When I did, I saw a girl standing there. It was Rhonda, but at first I didn't recognize her because I had only seen some selfies of her on Instagram. I don't think that I had ever seen her in person before. As I was standing by the door, she tried opening it up. Then I opened up the back door and said hi to her. I then asked her what she was doing here. She asked me if she could come inside. I had a bad feeling about it. Something about her was sort of creeping me out. Maybe it was the fact that she showed up unannounced to my back door at 9 o'clock at night. And by the way, she had no way of knowing where I lived. I asked her how she knew where my house was. She just asked to come inside again. I really didn't want her to. So instead, I told her that I was really busy with homework and I had to get back to it. She just stood there for a moment looking disappointed. Then she said that she was just going to go and walked off sort of angrily. I was glad that she was going, but more confused than anything. After she left, I went back inside and went into my room. Then I blocked Rhonda on Instagram. I felt that she had crossed the line by showing up unannounced like that. When Thomas got back home, I asked him if he knew Rhonda at all. He said no. I showed him her picture and he still didn't recognize her. I told him what happened 
and he was just as confused as I was. I was hoping that maybe he had known Rhonda, and she asked him for the address or something. But the fact that he didn't made it that much more creepy and weird. The very next night, I was pulling a late night session of homework. I had some stuff due at 11.59 p.m. I was trying to get it done at the last moment. It was probably like 11.30, and I was almost done, when I heard Thomas call me from the living room. He was in there watching TV, and I asked him what he wanted. Then, he told me that there was a girl standing at the front door. I knew who it was. I got up and walked out into the living room. I looked out the front door to see Rhonda just standing there, but she didn't knock on the door or anything. She appeared to look over and notice me. Then she turned and ran off. It was the creepiest thing ever. I went back and finished my homework and then joined Thomas watching TV in the living room. We kept glancing out the windows to see if she would come back, but luckily she didn't. After that, I never saw her again. I remember I asked Thomas to look her up on Instagram months later in the school year. She had a few more pictures then, and appeared to still attend our university. I still don't know what she was doing. It was really creepy behavior though. This happened two years ago now. I'm a female and live alone in an apartment building. Like many people, I have an Instagram page that I post on pretty regularly. I would say I post on average at least once a month. I enjoy posting pictures on Instagram, but I know that occasionally you have to deal with a bot or a creepy person. For the most part, I hadn't had any bad experiences until this happened. One day I opened the Instagram app and saw that I had a direct message. It was from one of my followers, a guy named Tim. I didn't know him and I didn't follow him either. I'm not sure how long he had been following me for, but he sent me a message asking if I could come and hang out with him. I found this to be kind of weird and did not respond. I mean, he didn't even have a conversation with me and I didn't know him. He couldn't possibly expect me to just say yes. And based on his profile picture, I wasn't interested in him. I figured that he wouldn't message me again after that. But the next day, he sent me another message. He once more asked me to hang out with him and said that he could pick me up. This time, I responded and said, No thanks, I appreciate the offer though. Now he had to understand that I wasn't interested. Tim then tried to convince me, but I ignored him. I didn't really know why he was sending me these messages seemingly out of nowhere. The next day, I didn't get any more messages from him. I figured that he would stop communicating with me at that point. The following night, I went grocery shopping after work. I would go shopping occasionally here and there whenever I needed to. I didn't have a particular routine or anything. I was inside of the store shopping for about 20 minutes. The time was probably about 8 p.m. or so. After I was done shopping, I headed out to my car in the parking lot. By now, it was mostly quiet, but there were a few people here and there. I got all the way to my vehicle, only to see that there was a car parked next to me. I started to take my groceries out of the cart and put them in my car. That's when the door opened to the car next to me and a guy got out. I did not recognize him. He just seemed like another guy going shopping. But he didn't walk to the store and instead headed straight for me. At first, I was confused. But he then said my name and asked me why I thought I could ignore him. I realized that it was Tim from Instagram and I did recognize him from his picture at that point. I was too confused to say anything though. He said that he was here now, and we were together, so we may as well hang out. I finally spoke and asked him what he was doing and how he knew I would be here. He claimed that it was a coincidence. I finished putting my groceries in my car and said that I had to get home. I closed my trunk and then tried to walk around him to my driver's door, but he stopped me by grabbing my arm. He told me to come on and go with him. I asked him to let me go and said that he was hurting my arm, but he started to pull me away towards his car. He was a lot stronger than I was, and we started moving towards his vehicle. Then I started yelling as loud as I could. I was yelling help and telling him to let me go. There were luckily a few people that were walking to their cars in the parking lot a ways away. They took notice of what was going on though, and when Tim saw this, he let me go and told me to shut up. I instantly ran around my car for the driver's door and got inside. Tim followed me, but I locked the door before he could get in. I didn't waste any time and I drove out of there. 
Tim had to run back to his car, and I left the parking lot extremely fast. By the time he started his car, I had already left. I went around another nearby store that was out of his sight. Then I took some random residential roads until I was sure he wasn't following me. After that, I drove home. I was so focused on not letting him follow me that I forgot to call the police for a while, but eventually I did. I told him everything that happened, but when I got to my Instagram page, his account was gone. I think he deleted it. Still, after that night, I never saw Tim or heard from him again.